Hey y'all, it's Lydia aka Floral Sims. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the lighting mods and overrides that I use that just make my game look a hundred times better than the default Sims 4. This is no shade to the girls that can't use reshade or g-shade, but I feel physically ill when I see my game without these things. So if you want your game to look cuter, just keep watching. Some of these things are well known, but I feel like a few of them I don't see anybody else talk about. So first we have the Simp for Sims graphic rule setters. It fixes the lighting, reflections, it makes the shadows more detailed, it removes distance blur, it does a bunch of stuff. There are three presets. I use the ultimate quality one, but there's also one that helps with game performance. I might just be tweaking, but I haven't seen anybody talk about this, and I feel like it definitely makes my game look better. Up next, we have the G-Shade preset that I use. I get asked all the time what I use, and this is always the answer. Elena is going to have to pry Strudel from my cold dead hands because I have never found a G-Shade preset that I like more than this one. I always go back to it. But yeah, Elena is really good at making G-Shade presets. Love her so much. Let me just tell y'all now, if you have any G-Shade questions, I am not the bitch to ask. I wish I was. All I know how to do is install the presets, tweak MXAO, and then I'll turn on the depth of field thing for like screenshots sometimes, but the rest is just a guessing game and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm also gonna include this preset in the video that I occasionally use for like dreamy cinematic screenshots. It was made by Wooldon. Ever since I found them, I've been obsessed with them. This preset is super, super pretty. I'll include some of the screenshots I've taken with it. This took me so long at first because I didn't know who created it, but I kept seeing people use it and you hoes love to gatekeep. I'm sorry, but it gets on my damn nerves how much people love to gatekeep presets. Like, come on. Next, we have the Sunblind World Lighting Overhaul by Softer Haze. I'll just go through the screenshots of these real quick and then show you in-game in a minute. But yeah, Softer Haze has a few other world lighting overhauls. They all slay, but this is the most recent one they've done. If you download this, please read the installation instructions because it can be a little confusing at first. The only downside to this is you have to reinstall every time the game gets updated, but I feel like it is very much worth it. Y'all, I'm so obsessed with Sunblind, like I do not want to play the game if it's not installed. This is what it looks like during the afternoon. Evening super pretty. Like, are you kidding me? It's so good. And then it also makes everything really dark at night. And neon lighting pops really well. This is morning and then back to afternoon. These next two things I'm about to show are very similar to the No Glow and No Blue. Out of the Dark basically just tweaks the indoor lighting system. Here are some examples of what the default Maxis looks like and then No Blue and Out of the Dark. This one just fixes like that weird tinge of blue that Sims has by default and it makes the interiors just look slightly brighter and better. And then we have Into the Light, which changes how your sims blend into their environment, so if they're in a dark room, they're not going to be glowing. These next two are also by Lotharaho. I basically use anything that this creator makes. But first, we have the cube map remover. Cube maps can be good in games, like they're definitely important, but I feel like the Sims 4 one is very odd and it just makes everything look like it's made of plastic and it's way too shiny. So this just mattifies everything. And then this is a pool water replacement. It just changes the texture and the reflections of the pool water. Here are some examples and then I'll show a build that I just did. I just put the download for the slot on my Patreon for free or you can grab it off the gallery. Here's a better look of the actual pool and then I'll just go through some of the water swatches. You can also see how detailed this palm tree shadow is. But yeah, these are subtle, but I think they definitely make a difference and it's super pretty, especially this one, like... Look at how everything is just reflecting off of it. Okay, I forgot to include this one and I already recorded everything else, so we're gonna pretend that I just did it all in order, but... 
This is also by Lotharaho. It just makes foundations brighter, pretty self-explanatory. Usually the foundations, especially if they're white, will be like really gray and ugly. And this just makes them the actual color that they're supposed to be. These next ones are pretty well known, but I felt like I should include them anyway just because it's very important for these to be in my game at all times. These are K-Hippie overrides. They have some for the plants around the world. There's even replacements for flooring, roofs, and foundations. They basically just did a lot of overrides to make everything look more realistic. Unfortunately, the last update they did was for Cottage Living and they haven't updated since, so some of the newer worlds aren't going to have these realistic plants and textures. But yeah, these are super cute, super slay. So we are in my port sim save file so I can show you what all the K-Hippie stuff looks like in game. I have multiple overviews on my channel for my save file. If you haven't seen it before, go check it out. But yeah, all the grass and terrain paint is retextured. The rocks are, all the trees are more realistic. The stumps don't look like plastic anymore. The roads were originally the same as this flooring, so you can definitely see the difference right there. They even retextured most of the debug stuff. And then I guess I'll show some roof swatches real quick. They definitely made them look a lot better. You've got some of the jungle adventure ones and the eco lifestyle ones. I raised the art center so that we could look at the foundations better, but yeah, this mixed with the brighter foundations mod, my favorite one is this one because before it was just a weird stone and now it's this full tan brick one my dog just fell. This originally would be gray as shit and now it's bright white. This next thing is something that is used by everybody and their mother, but just in case there's somebody that hasn't seen these before, I felt like I should include them anyway. But these are map replacements by 20th Century Plumbob. Basically, what this person did was take all the boring doll maps and they made the maps look more like the world that they belong to. Not all of them are complete yet, but it says status ongoing, so I'm assuming they're still working on everything. But here's Tartosa. We've got Copperdale. Sulani is super, super pretty now. They also did a San Sequoia Red Bridge version of the map which leads to the next thing I'm going to show. So this next thing is by my girl Victoria, aka Alarion, my favorite builder ever. She took the San Sequoia Bridge and just made it look more like the Golden Gate Bridge because that's what it's supposed to be. You can download it off her Tumblr and it's on CurseForge and then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like in game. This is what the map looks like. It is so crazy to me that San Sequoia didn't come with functional townhouses or apartments, like... Disappointed but not surprised. This is what it looks like in-game. Super cool now, it's not boring and gray. You know, Victoria did what she had to do and I am super glad that she is part of the Sims community. And all of you need to go follow her Tumblr immediately. And the last thing I'm going to show y'all is some cloud replacements. I used to use the Studio Ghibli ones. I still think they're super cute. I just found another one that I liked better. These are the ones that I currently use. They're realistic cloud replacements and they just got updated for the new Horse Ranch world. I think that the Studio Ghibli ones aren't being updated anymore, but I could be wrong. But here's what the ones that I use look like. Most people probably do not give a shit about what the clouds look like in their game, but I like the way that they look in my screenshots, especially for my builds. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I included every single thing that I use that makes my game look better. Everything mentioned in this video today will be linked in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Mwah.